friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making another card with the Lawn Fawn Let's Go Nuts stamp set. I am so in love with this set, I can't stop creating with it. So I've stamped out all of my squirrels on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I decided to make all of the squirrels red squirrels for today. Those are my favorite. And I am going to be making a little bit more of a complicated card just because I'm going to be using the acorn house. So I wanted to keep the coloring fairly simple. So I'm using E13, E15, E17, and E19. I laid in my shadows first with that E19 and then began to blend that out with the E17. Now I'm going to bring that E15 forward on the face or the forehead. I'm gonna fill in the arm and hindquarters and legs, but I'm going to save a little room on the front of the face and the top of the tail for that E13. I'm also going to bring up a little bit of that on the sides and the belly, and then I'll bring in the E11 to finish that up, just so I have a nice light toned belly. And then I'll color the other three squirrels off screen. For the acorns, I'm going to be using G20, E50, and E51 for the nuts. I brought that G color in there because I just wanted something that was a little bit different than brown because otherwise it's all brown tones. So I'm imagining that the acorn nuts are just ripening. So I use that G20 from one side and then the E50 and E51 from the opposite side. So I did three of those on screen and the rest off screen. And then for the tops of the nuts, I'm using E55 and E57. I'm putting the darkest shade, that E57, on the same side that has the tan shades and then the lighter color above the green. I used R22 to color the inside of the EA squirrel's mouth and then I'm using a black gel pen to go over the eyes of the squirrel holding the acorn and then I will trim all of these images out with their matching dies. So now I'm going to die cut all of the various elements for my acorn house. So I'm using all Lawn Fawn cardstocks. I used Craft for the house and the wood grain neutrals. I'm using the darkest brown for the roof and the door frame. And then I'm also going to do the window frame out of that wood grain cardstock as well. And then I've got a piece of narwhal cardstock and I'm going to die cut the steps for the house with that. And I'm just holding everything into place with a little bit of post-it tape. And then I'll run that through my die cutting machine. And then I've got um, a whole bunch of colors for the leaves. So I have chili pepper, fake tan, raspberry, and sticky note. And then I'm using um, Noble Fur for the grass, which I'm using the grassy border from the mushroom borders for that. And then I'm also die cutting the vines that come with Acorn House from that color as well. And I did die cut two tiny leaves too. So now I'm taking that door die and I am tracing that onto a piece of narwhal cardstock. And then I'm going to trim that out inside of those pencil lines because I want to have a piece that is going to fit behind the door frame. I'm using my Cutter B Teflon coated scissors to trim that out. And then I'm going to glue the door into place right over top, just like that. So I will um, grab some liquid glue so I'm using my Twiddler's Nook embellishment tray to hold all of my little die cut pieces for the acorn house. And then I have my own little tray that I painted from work that I keep all of my um, images die cut in. And I wanted the door to open to reveal this little squirrel who fell asleep on the job of guarding all of the nuts that the other squirrels have brought into the house so far. So I'm gluing those down to that gray piece of narwhal 
And then I will grab the door frame and um, just run a thin bead of glue on the outside edge of that. I'm using my favorite Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And I opened that door while I did this because I want to make sure to only have glue behind that frame. And then I can press that down into place so that that will be ready to go as I start to build my card. So I've popped my grassy border into my Misty so that I can stamp my sentiment before I start assembling. I'm using Noble Fur ink to stamp Let's Go Nuts down at the bottom of that hill. And then I'm going to pop my card base in my Misty as well. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Mermaid cardstock and I'm going to stamp in Peacock ink. And I chose the sentiment that says um, grateful for the little things and then I also put the little baby squirrel and another acorn um, inside. So now I'm ready to begin my assembly. I've got two of those grassy borders so I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of one so that it can be popped up a little bit on the card and I'll add the second one flat to the card so I'm just using that foam tape to grab that second one and it wasn't quite tall enough but um, I was able to kind of just get that from the bottom edge and then I can peel off the release paper add a little bit more liquid glue to the top border and then I'll line that up on my card front and press that down into place. Then I'll grab my acorn house and I'm just trying to figure out placement at first um, I wanted it kind of tucked between those two borders, but I also didn't want that grass sticking out and showing when you open the door. So I added some liquid glue to that door frame and then I changed my mind and decided that I wanted that to be popped up as well. So I'm going to pull that back up in a minute because you can see how that grass is poking up between the step and the door and um, I didn't like that. So I'm gonna add some foam tape to the back of the door frame, and this time I'm gonna add it over top of the grass, so that will just eliminate that issue. And then I added some foam tape to the back of the step as well, just so it would be on the same level as the bottom of the door frame. And that will just give me a little extra dimension on the card as well. So then I decided to do the same thing with the roof, um, so it would be on equal level with the door. So I added a few little strips of foam tape behind that, and then I'm going to pop that up over top of the um, craft piece there. It just lines up perfectly. And then I can um, add the backer behind the window first, and I cut that out of sticky note cardstock as well. And then I will take the frame, which is the same color as the roof, because I used that same wood grain cardstock. Um, but I just loved how much texture it gave it. And um, so I'm going to pop that up right over top after I add some thin beads of glue on there. And yeah, I just love this acorn house. It's so dang cute. Um, so then I'm going to take the vines and I'm going to add one of the longer curling vines coming out of either side on the uh, top of the acorn cap and then I can fill that out by decorating it with all of my colored leaves. But first I'm going to add the rest of my greenery. So I've got two of these little um, leaves that are die cut with um, one die um, that does the larger one and the smaller one, those green leaves that I just tucked into the ground. And then I'll have another shorter vine coming out of both of those as if that's a plant. So I put the taller one on the left side and now I'm going to tuck the shorter one on the right and then add that little vine to that side as well. Before I add my leaves, I wanted to add my squirrels first, just so I can have them placed where they're going to go. And then I can add the leaves in around them and just fill out the rest of the scene. 
um, because the um, steps are popped up and this little squirrel was going to be overlapping just slightly, I decided to go ahead and pop all of the squirrels up on foam tape as well. So I have the yay squirrel over in front of the door and then this little one with the acorn kind of accenting the sentiment there on the left side. And then the one that is running, I'm going to have him racing across the top of the roof because that just seems like such a squirrel thing to do. So I added a little foam tape behind his head and tail and then just liquid glue for the part of his body that would be overlapping the roof. I'm going to take one of the extra acorns and add it to the hand of the yay squirrel. And then the other little acorn I'm going to just add next to the one that's holding the acorn on the left. And now I can begin to add the rest of my little die cut embellishments. I'm going to start with the keyhole and I just took out the inner part that has the key and I'm going to add that to my door. And um, so I'll just leave the brown that shows through as the inside of the keyhole. And I'm using my pokey stick. What is it called? <laughs> I had this discussion with one of you guys and I cannot remember. Uh, anyway, that's all I can think of is pokey stick. I know it's called something else. but um, So then I'm going to start embellishing my scene, starting with the largest leaves that I'm going to add to the right side of the stem. So I added one of the ones that was in fake tan and one of the um, raspberry color. And then I put on a tiny one in green because I just really liked the contrast there. And because the bottom of the card had so much green on it, I just wanted to um, bring some of that up there, a little bit more of it. And then I'm taking this one that's in chili pepper and I'm going to add it to that cluster as well. I just thought that looked the best. And then I've got all of these tiny leaves. So they're just going to really help fill in my scene and add a lot of color. I'm going to take my reverse tweezers to help me adhere those because they are so teeny tiny. Um, and I'll just be adding them all over to the various vines and um, also just in the grass and kind of blowing in the wind. So most of them I adhered flat to the card, but um, the couple towards the end that are just going to be like falling leaves, I will pop those up with foam tape. So just to be honest here, if there were one thing that I could change about this card, I wish that I had die cut the bottom green border a little bit shorter. Um, when I had first planned this card out, I wasn't going to have the second green border and I didn't take into consideration the stem on the roof. I kind of measured things out according to that craft acorn and that does not have the stem on it. So things got really close to the top of the card and just spatially I felt like there was a little bit too much space down at the bottom. I am going to do something to try to fix that later on, but um, if I were to remake this card, I would probably just shift things down a little bit. So I would probably have cut that bottom border down like right through the center of where the sentiment is and just shifted things down a little bit so that you know that big leaf cluster and all of that stuff wasn't like right up to the spine of the card but anyway it's no big deal it's just a card and hey maybe if I do recreate it it'll give me another excuse to play with these stamps and dies which I just absolutely love so very much so after I put down this raspberry colored leaf, then I'm going to start adding some with some tiny little squares of foam tape. And I just thought like having them lifted off of the card and overlapping, you know, parts of the acorn house, just help them look like they were a little bit more in motion or like they were caught there by the wind or, you know, just gives like a little bit more movement to the card, a little bit more life. 
I also made sure to add those ones in all different directions. Some of them are upside down or a little bit more twisted to the left or the right. And then um, also try not to put two that are of the same exact color right next to each other. So now is where I'm going to try to fix that spatial issue that was bugging me. I needed to add something toward the bottom of the card that was going to be um, a little bit heavy, a little bit weighty. So I took this grass image from Mom Plus Me and I'm stamping that in Noble Fur, which is a really dark ink. So it just kind of pulls everything down again. It pulls your eye down so it doesn't look quite so top heavy. So that is going to complete my card for today. I really hope you guys like this one. I had a blast playing with this. It almost feels like paper dolls when I was a kid just building these little houses. It's just so much fun for me. So if you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right now. So. Also be sure to check the description bar below the video to links for all of the products that I use today. I am an affiliate, so it does help support my channel if you use any of my links below. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.